Just finally, um, just on the actual, you know, for the future as well for the league, because obviously, you know, you, you obviously focus on the short term and just getting back playing, getting the league going. Just in terms of like the league, you know, in a few years' time, are you looking to really build maybe another another team there? Because obviously a team's been lost in the last few years because of players, and now you want to try and get back to that fifth, probably more likely sixth team, just so it's an even playing field. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, before... COVID hit and obviously the world changed. Uh, we actually already had a new team coming in uh, based via the Liverpool Trojans baseball team. They've got their own kits. They've got everything. Um, so they they have a team that will be entering this year because they've already basically already got a roster full. Uh, so there will be a Trojans team. Uh, the question of will all four other teams come back is up in the air at the moment. It all depends on the numbers that return and the new players that come in. Um, I'm hopeful that we can still get a five-team league out this year. It may be four for one year. Um, again, I don't know at this point um, is the honest answer. But long term, um, a couple of us have spoken about this recently. And Liverpool's always been a development league. Um, and it's all, almost always felt like a feeder league to Manchester to a degree. Um, and we think that maybe it's time that we treat Liverpool League as a, as a standalone league. Um, a league where people can come and play and it can be competitive. Uh, where you can build up a team. So whilst obviously we want the teams to be even and as even as possible, and new players in would be dealt with that way. People will be able to retain players without losing players every year. And previously, teams who've won the league a couple of years on the run have almost been decimated by having other players go out to other teams to try and even them out a bit. And whilst that's great for parity in the league, it doesn't isn't great for relationships on the field. It also isn't great for team building it's the, it, or, or trust in the process because you've got to think if you win the league with a team you don't then want to wonder will, will I be playing for them next year because I might need to go to even something else so we're going to put that a bit more on the teams to try and um, A, recruit players but also to um, keep players and as I say as new players come in um, they'll be given out as, on a kind of a basis if one team needs a, a guy player who's played for four years then and one comes in, they get that guy over the top league in the team. It would be on, on merit. Also, obviously, if there was ever, like we expanded back to six teams, for example, if we did that, then there would have to be some thought into do some people move around. And those kind of things would happen in any kind of situation like that. Um, there's also the thought of looking into, can we make where the Trojans play baseball, can we make that a home for Northwest baseball and softball. Uh, we've got preliminary drawings in place uh, where we're looking to build two diamonds at the back of the, their fields. Um, we've got a couple of people working on effectively um, bids for grants, which will go some way to making that happen. It'll be a process. It won't be a we turn up on day one and we have two sp sparkly new diamonds and everything's cornered off and we've got stories and stuff like that. It'll be a process. And it may take a few years to, to be honest, to start that process. But the idea is that the plan, to be honest, the, the whole plan is that these are the these will be the best diamonds outside of Farnham Park. These will be diamonds where people who play in Manchester normally go and say, oh, I think I want to play in Liverpool as well. Look at those diamonds. People will want to play here. Um, we want to make it attractive. Again, we don't want to take away from the fact that anyone can come and play. We don't want to take away the from the developmental aspect of the league because that is key to it. It is key that people can come in and develop as players. But personal experience, I learned way more from playing a game, even playing poorly, than I did from three or four weeks training. Um, my tip to rookies always is don't try and learn everything in a week. Try and think of one thing every time you play that you can take away. I think it was you, to be honest, that said that to me when I started playing. Just try and focus on one thing. If it's attacking a ball, if it's your swing, if it's whatever it is, you're throwing. just try and remember one thing or one new rule that you didn't know. And eventually, that comes like a little bit of a bank. You can rely on that information rather than trying to take everything in all at once. And then the week later, not having a clue what's going on. At least if you can build up some knowledge over time, you're more likely to retain it. And that's what we want to do. We've got loads of rookies, so many rookies. And the great thing is, I would say about 80% of them are women, where we've struggled for uh, women players in the past. Um, obviously, we were six and four instead of a five and five league two years back. I don't think that'll be the case this year. Um, there may be rookies on every team, 
but I don't think that will be the case because I do think we've got a lot of women okay, coming in, right. a lot so of very enthusiastic women. We've got women coming from Manchester to play you want to that in thing. the Manchester leagues. You've, you've messaged me over the last year and month and weeks saying we want to come and play in Liverpool as well. So it is growing. Um, I want to see it personally to the point where it's eight teams over the three diamonds, um, of course, maybe even two nights in, in Liverpool, and we have like two two little leagues as four. That for me makes sense. You can even we can even then go to a proper model where we have playoffs. If you know if it gets to something like that, um, again, this is years down the line, uh, but think long, medium, um, short-term goals. If you've got them all in place, at least we know what we're working towards and, and which direction we're moving. 